Hi, my name is Ken Oliver, and I want to show you something that is so cool. I think you're going to love this. These are our liquid watercolors. I'm going to just walk through the whole palette today with you, just color by color, to kind of show you where it fits in the spectrum and how uh, they work together, and really just show you the vibrancy and uh, intensity of each color as you paint it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, this is the Brights assortment. This assortment includes primary colors and secondary colors. So I'm going to get those out. You're going to love how easy these are to use. And I'm going to lay them around on the color wheel. This is Alizarin Crimson, that's a primary red. This is Ultramarine Blue, that's your primary blue. And Lemon Yellow, that is your primary yellow. So these are your primary colors. Uh, secondary colors in this set are orange, phthalo green, and violet. This Brights assortment includes both your primaries and your secondaries. Uh, this set has what you would call tertiary colors, which are uh, combinations of primary and secondary colors. This is warm earth tones. And these colors are very rich, almost like rich and sultry. They include colors like Merlot, which is down here in the reds and violets. Terra Verde Green, which is an earth green that would be similar to like a pine tree or dark leaves. Indigo, which is a very deep blue. Yellow Ochre, one of my favorite colors ever. It's a brownish yellow, it's very golden. Uh, sepia, which is a brown, and burnt orange. And this is our color palette for now. We'll have more colors later, but for now, this is our first release of liquid watercolors, and I think you're really going to love them. I have uh, taken the time to paint some swatches ahead of time, so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like when they're painted out. This is yellow ochre, burnt orange, sepia, merlot, indigo, and terra verde green. These are the warm earth tones. And these are the Brights assortment this includes your primary colors and secondary colors. There's lemon yellow, orange, alizarin crimson, violet, ultramarine blue, and phthalo green. So what I'm planning to do actually is to paint out a swatch of each of the colors so you can get an idea of what they look like whenever you're working with them. And this is also a good exercise whenever you get these, when you put them in your cart and get them, it's a good idea when they're delivered to go ahead and sit down and paint out swatches so you have an idea of how they work and how they interact with water, how they blend. You can see here I started with just pure, um, pure pigment. And then here I did a wash where I blended from pure pigment all the way down just by diluting it and adding a little more water until I was almost to white. That's a really good exercise to do because it helps you understand the tonality of your paint, um, how transparent it is, and the kind of effects that you can get just by how um, how much water you dilute it with. And you, again, you can paint these just using drop by drop onto your surface and paint that way, or you can drop them into a paint palette or a paint pan, or even on China plate and work from that. So there, there's a lot of ways you can use it. They're very simple to use. So I'm gonna put this to the side, and then I'm gonna start painting. I'm really going to just work around the color wheel, almost like the way that I laid them out, I'm gonna work in this order going from lemon yellow around through the oranges and the reds the violets the blues and through the greens so i'm just going to work each each like color family and paint a little swatch of each so you can see how easy it is to use them so first i'm starting with lemon yellow i love this lemon yellow the lemon yellow is the clearest most brilliant yellow that we have and i just put down about five drops on my watercolor paper and I'm using um, my water media paper. I selected this paper especially to work with color burst and with liquid um, watercolors because this paper is ultra bright white. Um, watercolor is transparent, so light reflects off the paper and back through the pigment that you paint down to your eye. And when that happens, very bright white light reflects off this paper so your eye perceives that color as extremely bright. Can you see how bright that yellow is? Part of that is because it's painted on this ultra bright white paper. So I'll paint this lemon yellow and let you see 
it is so clear and so beautiful and transparent. Isn't that nice? So that is lemon yellow. It is the brightest, clearest yellow I've ever seen. And I'll tell you this, I never used to be a fan of lemon yellow or yellow at all. And whenever we came out with this color in Color Burst, I absolutely fell in love with yellow because it's so clear and bright. The next color I'm gonna work with is yellow ochre. And I'm just gonna drop a few drops of lemon, I'm sorry, of yellow ochre here. Yellow ochre is a brownish yellow. It's toned down and it's almost golden, but it's just, it's also very pretty yellow. Can you see the difference? It has those really rich golden brown over undertones. And even though it is a deep yellow, it is still brilliantly transparent. Aren't those colors beautiful? So I'll put this aside and I'm just gonna keep working through the color palette till we paint out all 12 colors. Now we're going to burnt orange and orange. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put down a few drops of orange and then I'll wash that in with my brush. My brush is a little bit wet, but not a lot. And look how vibrant that color is. That's also one of the things that I really wanted to pay attention to when we developed our liquid watercolor is that our colors were vibrant and intense and still maintained their transparency. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna clean my brush. And then I'll go to burnt orange. And this is a brownish orange. I'll just put on a few drops of burnt orange. And then with a wet brush, just wash that in. And you can see the difference in the color. This is still very vibrant and very transparent, but it has those brown undertones that make it kind of burnt looking. A beautiful fall color, burnt orange. Isn't that nice? I'm gonna put that aside. And now we're gonna start into the red tones. I have sepia, which is kind of a brown, and alizarin crimson. Beautiful. I know that you're going to really enjoy working with these, so you want to put them in your cart because they are amazing colors. This sepia is actually a great color to mix in with some greens to uh, get a more realistic green that looks like leaves. How pretty is that? And you will hear a little bit of a ding every now and then. I'm using a coffee cup to uh, clean my brush. So uh, <laughs> every now and then I'll hit that so it sounds like a little bell ringing. This is alizarin crimson. Alizarin crimson is a primary red. And again, it's very clear and vibrant. It's one of the most important things that I wanted to develop in our liquid watercolor is that we have vibrancy and intensity of color while still maintaining that beautiful transparency. Oh, that color is just luscious. Next, we'll paint into the violets. I've got violet and Merlot. Violet is a secondary color. It's made of ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson. And our violet is very intense. You see that rich violet color? I like violet because it is both cool and warm. Since it has red in it, it has a warm feel to it sometimes, or it can also be very cool if you pair it with blues. And this is our Merlot. Merlot is a rich maroon kind of red. Actually, this Merlot looks exactly like wine. You might be tempted to drink it, but please don't. It is so beautiful. Okay, 
Can you see that? So we have that rich color, but still transparent because you can see the light reflecting off of the paper behind it. And I am working on my water media paper. You will love working on this paper because it is, um, it's very versatile. It's, it's a, a duotone paper. One side of the paper is textured. So if you're painting, you have a beautiful textured surface to work on. It's also heavy enough weight that it doesn't warp a lot. And the reverse side of the page of the paper is smooth. So if you're doing projects with embossing or stamping or foam stamps, you have a smooth surface that you can get that really good stamped impression. We're just going to keep working around the color wheel. We're coming now into blues. And I love seeing these two blues together. There's ultramarine blue and indigo. These colors are both really intense. Ultramarine blue is a primary blue, while indigo is a little deeper, more saturated, and even a little more violet. It's almost black. But you will, lo you will love this indigo, or I'm sorry, this ultramarine blue. This ultramarine blue is perfect for creating skies and clouds or backgrounds, winter scenes, because it's a very clear blue. Whereas the indigo is a little darker, almost like a midnight blue. Isn't that beautiful? And sometimes you might think, do I need this shade of blue or do I need these extra, all these different shades? But just by doing this little exercise, you can get an idea of how very different two blues might look. And um, they're both extremely clear and vibrant. And I love the transparency that we have in every one of our colors. And to finish up our color palette, we're moving into greens. I have terra verde green and also phthalo green. Phthalo green is a primary green. It's very, it's almost bluish in a way, but phthalo green is the combination of lemon yellow and ultramarine blue. This is terra verde green and it is toned down a little bit with a tiny bit of red in it that makes it almost like the color of pine trees or grass. See how beautiful that is? It's terra verde green or earth green. And this is phthalo green. Again, this one is a mixture of lemon yellow and ultramarine blue. And you'll see that it's a very clear green and actually a little more blue than our terra verde. and see how different those two shades of green are. So go ahead and pull all of those color swatches back into the frame so you can get an idea of how beautiful they are together. It will help you make your selections whenever you're choosing liquid watercolor at Blitzy. Aren't those beautiful?